Um, hello guys again. Um, welcome back. We're going to be doing analytical geometry question. Um, we're given this equation, and then so this tells you the x coordinate of the of the center. This tells you the y coordinate of the center. This gives you the radius squared. So what we have is that on M, we're going to have 1 and 2. And then I can draw something over here. Which is going to have a length of the square root of 2. Right? So now we have P. And then we have pt which is a tangent and here we have a radius which we just drew meaning that over here we have 90 degrees due to tan being perpendicular to a radius from your euclidean geometry so then they say we must show that our pt squared is equals to 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 so you might think that it's easy to use the distance formula but you don't exactly have the coordinates of t and there's not really any methodology which you can apply to try to find the coordinates of t. So you have to find another creative way of finding pt. So what we notice here is that if I actually draw a line like this, that's going to be the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, meaning that I can use Pythagoras. So how can I use Pythagoras? Because I have this side. And technically, I have this side because I have P and I have M. I mean, I can find the length of PM. And then using that, I can find PT squared using Pythagoras. Isn't that amazing? So what I'm going to find first, I'm going to find PM squared. So PM, we know, is going to be the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. But if I square that... On both sides like this then I won't have a square root on the other side so I'm just gonna have my x2 which is this minus my x1 uh-huh squared plus this is my y2 minus my y1 which is 2 all squared isn't that amazing so then now my pm squared is going to be equals to k squared minus 2k plus 1 and then over here a simple way you can do it is that you square this and you get positive k squared um, you multiply this and this which is 2k then you multiply that by 2 and you get a positive 4k and then you square this which can give you a positive 4 sorry for that to give me a positive 4 I mean that my pm squared is going to be equals to 2k squared plus 2k plus 5. Right. And then we use our Pythagoras now. But then first, uh, let us show that we actually have mtp as a 90 degree angle. So my mtp cos 90 degrees. Why? Because we have a radius which is perpendicular to tangent. That's why you write the reason. And then so now what I'm going to say, I'm going to say PM squared is equal to MT squared plus PT squared. Why? Pythagoras. And then here you have already have PM squared which is 2K squared plus 2K plus 5. Then you have mt, which we know is square root of 2, all squared, because it is a radius, right? Then you're going to have pt squared, which is what you're looking for. And then so now here you're going to have 2k squared plus 2k plus 5 minus 2 equals to pt squared. Why minus 2? Because this squared is 2, goes the other side, gives you negative 2. So then you're going to get that your pt squared... So for that, your pt squared is going to be equals to 2k squared plus 2k 
plus 3. Correct. So then they say determine the length of the shortest possible tangent that can be drawn from P to the circle. So now let us just draw another possible tangent. Already we have one tangent which is from P to the circle, which is our tangent PT, which we have found that its length squared actually gives us this expression, right? And then so now let us just draw another tangent uh, just for vibes. Okay, not really just for vibes, but just for explanation purposes. <clears throat> so what you let's just say I just draw the tangent let's say I draw the tangent yeah, PB because my name starts with a B. So if you draw the tangent PB over here, um you would still have this line coming from there to there. And then so you would still have this radius being equals to the square root of 2, right? And then you still have this MP, which is the same MP, which is always going to be the same, meaning that this PM squared is just always going to be equals to 2K squared plus 2K plus 5. Also in this triangle, it's still 2K squared plus 2K plus 5, right? So now you have MB, which is square root of 2. Then you have PM, which is, yeah, the square root of this. So now if you actually try to find the length of PM or PM using Pythagoras, you're going to find that P, uh, not PM, PB. If you're going to try to find PB using Pythagoras or PB squared, you'll find that PB squared is the same thing as PT squared, right? And what is PB? PB is a tangent from P to what? To the circle. So now, even if you are to draw any other possible tangent, this triangular shape will still hold, whereby you're going to have a radius of the square root of 2, and then you're going to have your MP, meaning that each and every single length of the tangent squared is going to be determined by this expression. 2k squared plus 2k plus 3. You can try it yourself. Try to draw another tangent for yourself and just see if you won't find that triangle. You will, actually. So I'll just leave it up to you guys to interrogate that. But then I've just shown my part over there. And then so now, if we actually continue, now we are sure that on 2.1.2, the tangent, or let me just say, let length of tangent uh, be equals to which variable? Let me just say b. Why not? So meaning that b squared is always determined by 2k squared plus 2k plus 3. But then remember, we're looking for the shortest possible tangent, right? So we're looking for the minimum length of the tangent. So basically, we're looking for the minimum length of the tangent. So then here, we can now determine that, therefore, the length of the tangent is going to be equal to the square root of 2k squared plus 2k plus 3. So now, we are looking for the shortest possible ta tangent. So here, this is just an equation which is just showing the general tangent or the general length of the tangent. So now, we are supposed to find the shortest possible length of the tangent. So now, just to show that the tangent is a function of k, just going to say b of k is equals to the square root of 2k squared plus 2k plus 3. This is just showing that the length of the tangent is determined by whatever k we get. So now what we are going to see is that what the length of the tangent is equals to will be a minimum when this thing under the square root sign is a minimum. 
what I am saying is that the square root of 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 will be a minimum when 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 is a minimum. So then what we are going to find is that we are going to want to find the minimum value of this. And if we find the minimum value of this, then that means that we are able to find the minimum value of this, right? Okay, so how are we going to do that? So we know that this 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 is going to be some sort of like a parabola function like this. And it's going to be upward sloping because we have a positive a of 2. So now we are looking for the minimum value, the value which is over here. So you will, you've seen in calculus that to find the minimum value, you take the first derivative, or you to find the x value of the minimum value, you take the first derivative and you, cost, and you equate it to zero. But here we are going to find the k value of the minimum value. So what we are going to do is that we're going to take the first derivative. So the first derivative of 2k squared, uh, it's not with respect to x, it's with respect to k now. So d dk, uh, 2k squared plus 2k plus 3, right? And you want this to be equals to 0. So here, we are going to get 4k, and we're going to get 2 equals to 0. That means that for 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 to be a minimum, our k must be equals to negative 2 over 4. That means that our k must be equals to negative 1 over 2. And therefore, the minimum value of 2k squared plus 2k plus 3 is... 2 into negative 1 over 2 squared plus 2 into negative 1 over 2 plus 3 is going to be equal to 2 into 1 over 4 minus 1 plus 3. Then we have 1 over 2 here plus 2, which is 5 over 2. So now this is the minimum value of what? The minimum value of what was under the cap. Of what was under the root sign and then which means that or let's just say which implies that the minimum value or the minimum length of tangent or that whatever the shortest possible tangent yeah of the shortest possible yeah the minimum length of the tangent basically is going to be equals to the square root of we found that the minimum value of this is 5 over 2 right so then you're going to replace this by its minimum value to get the minimum of the entire thing isn't that crazy so okay so okay, it's not crazy so we're gonna get this is going to be the square root of 5 over 2 and therefore the minimum length of the tangent is going to be equals to 1.6 like they said round off to the yeah to first decimal place yes and then we are done don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and with that peace out